Technology is ever-changing, and I think that the Air Force needs to move along with it. We've got the capability to make something better and make improvements. Why wouldn't we use the technology that we have to do that? So the C-17 was tasked with the search and rescue operations in support of human spaceflight recovery. The intent was to allow the C-17 to get to the objective area faster and stay there longer, while additionally being able to provide follow-on airdrop assets. We were here this past week as a part of the 437th ALF Wing to take part in an AMC test of flares and smoke position markers. We're creating a triad of support recovery for our down astronauts that have a off nominal landing when they're returning from the International Space Station. This is to evaluate the suitability of the, the employment of the marker and the flares uh, from the C-17A aircraft and to be able to make a fielding decision by AMC to use the C-17A as a search and rescue aircraft. We came out to Patrick Air Force Base to just verify that in normal operation, can these players be safely dropped without having any type of negative impacts to the aircraft? This improves the response time if they do have to utilize this capability of the C-17. Why the search and rescue operations is important to the Air Force. It's more so a peace of mind for the crew members, the actual astronauts that will be going into the capsule and potentially putting their lives on the line in order to continue space exploration. In the event that they do have to abort the mission or land in the ocean, they have the understanding and the peace of mind to know that the Air Force is there to go and make an expedited recovery of the team.